no hey guys welcome back to my channel happy easter i don't know about you guys but i love easter it was one of my favorite holidays as a kid all the candy and the feelings of happiness and everything i loved easter so so much i hope you are as excited as i am so i had to do a special easter video for today for this mukbang i have this vegan creamy dill pasta salad that my sister made me she made this a couple of weeks ago and i tried it and I literally could not stop eating it and so I told her she had to make it for me for a mukbang and she was so down so she made it for me again today and then over here I have a vegan red velvet pizuki I used to make pizukis all the time with my friends I've never made one in a skillet before I love pizukis so I'm so excited to try this I originally was just gonna make cinnamon rolls for this mukbang but I took a poll on my Instagram and I asked if you guys wanted to see me do a pizuki or cinnamon rolls and you guys voted for a pizuki and so I decided I didn't want to go with the ordinary pizuki I wanted to try making this red velvet pizuki my recipe so yeah and then on top I have some cashew milk ice cream I've never had it before. I've never had a cashew based ice cream before, so I'm really interested to see how that is. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start eating because this looks so good and I just can't wait any longer. And I also put a layer of regular chocolate chips in the center of this. And then the white chocolate chips I mixed into the dough. So there's chocolate in this as well. This just came out of the oven, so it's probably still really hot. What? Oh my gosh. So I don't know if you saw my trying TikTok hacks video, but I made cookie cereal. I made it red velvet. This tastes exactly like that, and I was in love with that. So I am living for this recipe. Oh my gosh. And also for this video, I couldn't think of any Easter topics to talk about. So I decided that I'm just going to talk about embarrassing stories because, I mean, who doesn't want to hear about that, right? <laughs> also, Easter is like spring and the season of rebirth. It's like a time of second chances. So let me pull up my list. Okay, the first thing, it was in China. When I used to live in China, I actually took Kung Fu. And there was one time, I think I had just finished my class and my brother had just started taking Kung Fu as well. And he was in the room with one of his friends who was also taking Kung Fu. I went to this cabinet that we kept our stabs in because we used stabs and I grabbed one and started doing one of the maneuver things that we had learned and I was doing it really, really fast and I was like showing off because I thought it was so cool. And I was like, look what I can do because you're not even using stabs yet. I was such a little petty child, but I ended up paying for it because I started doing it too fast and I whacked myself on the head with the staff. And I remember trying so hard not to start crying after recuperating. I put the staff away and left the room and I started crying. Oh my gosh, I, I remember that so clearly. I was so embarrassed because I think they had all seen it. 
him, my brother, and his friends. And yes, they're younger than me, and it doesn't really matter what they think, but it was just so embarrassing to me. I feel like with Pazookis, they put the ice cream on there to kind of balance out the sweetness. But honestly, this doesn't even need the ice cream. It's really good by itself. Okay, now I'm gonna have some of this pasta. I'm so excited. So she used red lentil pasta, which is what she used last time, and it's more of a tougher pasta, but I, it's one of my favorites, so that's, I think that's one of the reasons why I love this so much, but there's also bell peppers, tomatoes, dill, tahini, the sauce is like a tahini base, but oh my gosh. There's also chickpeas in here as well. The texture of the pasta is so good. <laughs> when I was putting this in the bowl, my sister said, you better come downstairs with an empty bowl. Well, this pizookie is really good and I want to finish that, so I guess I better make a decision which one I want to finish more. So when I was in seventh grade, I was in math class one morning and I really had to fart <laughs> and I thought it was just going to be a silent fart. So I let it rip and it wasn't. <laughs> Thank goodness my teacher was in the middle of teaching so only one person heard it but this person, he was one of the popular kids. So of course I wanted him to like me. And he sat behind me and he heard it. <laughs> I remember I looked back at him and he was staring at me. He's like, did you just fart? And then I was like, no, it was my shoe. And he's like, yeah, right. And then I moved my shoe. Like I was slipping it against the leg of the chair and it kind of started making a squeaky noise. And I was like, it was, it was that noise, but it was louder. <laughs> Thank goodness my teacher got me out of it because then he said, are you guys even listening? And so we never talked about it ever again after that. And it was so, so embarrassing. I just wanted to cry, <laughs> but it's over now. It really doesn't matter now. Oh yeah, also these earrings, they're one of my favorites. I don't know if you can really see them. I love them so much. I stole them from my mom. <laughs> Thanks, mom. But I love them so much, and I was on the phone with one of my best friends the other day, and she's like, wait, those look like the eggs from that one show. Um, what's it called? That, and I was like, wait, Dragon Tales? And she's like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, it looks like the sparkly eggs. They look, oh my gosh, I have to wear those in my Easter video. Anyway, I'm so glad she brought that up because I didn't even notice until she said something. She's so cute. <laughs> Mm. 
I feel like this recipe would be perfect for like a picnic or something. It's definitely perfect for Easter, I'll tell you that. It has like all the cute colors and the flavors, so refreshing, and it's just a happy food. So I think it's perfect for Easter. And then I just have some water, once again. So the next embarrassing story is kind of around the same time. I don't remember exactly what year it was, but I know that I was in school. I think I was in high school at the time. I remember I went to school, and I don't remember if I forgot to eat breakfast or something, but my stomach growled really loudly in my first hour, and everybody thought I farted. It honestly does not matter, but at the time, I just... I mean, even if it happened now, in the moment, it is really embarrassing, but I feel like we should just embrace those things. Like, if you if your stomach growls in class, fine, yeah, you're hungry, so that happens to everyone. If you fart, okay, I fart, that's cool. I don't know. I mean, it can be disrespectful, so I totally understand when people get offended, but, like, if you're comfortable with farting and the people around you are comfortable with farting, then just let it rip, man. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. It's really soft, but the edges are a little crisp, so you still get that slight crispiness, as you would if it just were a reg regular chocolate chip cookie. It's so good. So like here, this is a crispy part. This part's gooey, but the top part is crisp. Mmm. Oh my gosh, okay, so there was this one time, I don't remember exactly where I was, but I was in a public bathroom, I was in a stall, and the door was broken, it was the only other available stall, and so, uh, this lady comes in, and I'm already on the toilet, and she starts opening my door, and I freak out, I kick so hard and slam the door shut, I feel so bad, I probably scared her to death. But she almost came in my stall. I was so embarrassed. I felt, not only did I feel bad for, you know, slamming the door on her face, but I don't know, just the fact that she almost walked in on me and the possibilities of, you know, I don't know. I just, it was really, really embarrassing. And I really hope that never happens again. And I learned my lesson to never go into a stall if the door is broken. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> this is so refreshing after that.
So I used to be a really big skateboarder. I probably have mentioned this before, but I would skateboard all the time with Rachel. I ended up teaching Maylee how to skateboard, and there was one time that Rachel and I were hanging out with another one of our friends at a park. There was this kid there who was new to our school. We ended up talking to him, and we left, and I think that Rachel ended up getting a Snapchat or something, and so did I. And he was texting me, and he told me that he really liked Rachel, but Rachel didn't like him back. And so, later on, he ended up asking me to hang out with him, and I knew he was just using me to get to Rachel, which is so frustrating, but I was like, you know what? It gives me something to do. So, we went skateboarding at the same park that we met him at. We'd already been skateboarding a little bit, and so we were kind of just talking, and I was standing on my skateboard, just kind of like swaying back and forth. And then all of a sudden, it was, it was so embarrassing. My skateboard slipped out from under me and I fell on my butt like so hard and my skateboard went flying. It was so embarrassing. He was super sweet and he ran after my skateboard so it didn't, you know, fly away and get run over by a car or whatever. But I got up and he's like, oh my gosh, are you okay? And I was like, physically, yes. Mentally, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I hate it when I do things like that. And because it was so unexpected. Now I know not to just stand on my skateboard because my clumsy butt is going to fall. My shirt keeps moving. It's supposed to stay off shoulder, but it's super stretchy, so when I lift my arms up, it goes mm. So, it keeps looking like all funky and weird. I really like this shirt though. I feel like it was super Easter-y. And it is really cute too, but just doesn't stay where I want it to. It has a mind of its own. So in high school, I actually took theater for a few of the years that I was in high school. Um, well, there were many embarrassing moments in theater. So many people probably have embarrassing moments because, you know, you're on stage, you get stage fright, you mess up, you say things you don't mean to, just things like that. But I remember, uh, I think it was my sophomore year? No, it was my junior year of high school. I was in theater too, which was advanced theater. So a lot of the people who were in the plays, like, you know, the popular theater kids were in that class. I remember we were working on improv. It was like, I think a few weeks before our finals. And so we were just doing improv practice. And there were a bunch of different improv games that we were trying out. And then we would go on stage and perform these with our groups that we had picked out for us and I remember you had to go out at least once on my least favorite improv game one of the more popular theater kids pulled me out with them and we started doing the scene and I think I literally said like one thing and then she said something and then my mind just went blank and I was so nervous like I almost peed myself and I couldn't think of anything else to say and so I just ran off stage and I was so so embarrassed because I know that not only was that probably really annoying for her it was just so embarrassing because I wanted to do so well I wanted to impress these guys and I wanted to be their friends but That was a huge bite. <laughs> ah. So the last. <clears throat> Ew. So the last thing that happened to me actually happened like two weeks ago. I was wearing a dress and blue high heels. I've worn this outfit multiple times before, but I was with my sister and a couple of my friends, but these friends I didn't know very well, and some of them I actually didn't even know, but we were walking and I stepped off the curb 
and something happened for me to step wrong because that happens to me a lot apparently and my my pinky toe came out of my shoe and i like fell on my knee i mean it's already kind of embarrassing falling in itself but it wasn't embarrassing to me that i fell the embarrassing thing was that i was wearing a dress and i was wearing shorts under the dress but it's not like they knew that and so it's just it was so embarrassing my skirt went up and I hit my knee on the ground. I wasn't really embarrassed at first until I like stood up and realized that my skirt had kind of gone up and people probably saw it and all these people we were with were guys. And I was like, it, w it ended up being fine. Like I don't even think they saw anything. It was just, it was super embarrassing. I'm so clumsy. I don't even know where I get it from because my parents are not that clumsy. So I don't know. Mm -mm. I cannot believe I've eaten this much of the pizookie. Pizookies usually kill me, but I guess I was just really craving it. So those are actually all of my embarrassing stories that I could think of, which is surprising because I'm a really embarrassing person. If I think of more, then I'll obviously have to do a part two, but for now, that's all I got. Um, I also just want to thank all of you guys for subscribing and commenting and liking. It means a lot. To me it's so much to me i remember the day that i hit 500 subscribers i was so excited i just wanted to party it up it was so cool um so i just want to thank you guys for that it means so much to me all right i'm gonna take one more bite and then i'm gonna be done i'm very full i can't believe i ate that much my sister's gonna be mad that i didn't eat all the pasta Sorry, Maylee. Last bite. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Alright, guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a happy Easter and you have so much fun today and you spend it with your loved ones. And I hope you enjoy all your candy if you get any and just be happy and stay safe. I love you all so much. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.